It's nothing new that Hollywood has always had a certain look. The movie posters just seem to miss 60% of the population and the lack of Asian representation has always fallen short. No one has dared to speak up, but in the last few years, it has started to change. There are familiar faces, and it just gets me wondering, what is the solution and who has cracked the code? The new generation of mainstream creators like John Chu, Notch Khan, Mindy Kaling, Aziz Ansari, and Kumail Nanjiani are starting to normalize Asian faces by giving the starring roles to Asian actors, even if it means to cast themselves. After decades of waiting for existing creators to give them a chance, they have taken it upon themselves to create what they want and cast who they think fits the story the best. So the mirror that went into my head when I saw that being like, oh, shit, we sh why aren't we doing this? And who can do that? Um, and realizing, oh, I'm w w one of the few people who actually on the ground makes movies. I can literally say I want to cast this person and I can go to battle for whatever that is. Um, so the fact that you came before and, um, and have already established that makes a big difference. It's how we can see that it's. This has brought fresh faces to old stories. Boy meets girl, they fall in love, and they live happily ever after. But films and shows like The Big Sick, Master of None, and The Mindy Project have challenged these narratives. These stories don't revolve around the Asian culture, but it's about characters who fall in love and they just happen to be Asian. That's why it's key that Ansari and Nanjiani are a major part of the creative force behind these stories. These South Asian men are taking control of the larger culture narrative. You could easily replace Mindy Kaling with a Jennifer Aniston and Mindy Lahiri with any Jane Doe-like name. Asian artists who have started creating their own content has a bigger impact than the eye can see. Mainstream media has not only been open to a diverse cast, but diverse stories as well. We're not just a token for diversity. You know, we, it, to be real representation means you have a meaningful character that has hopes and dreams. And in this, in Crazy Rich Asians, that's what we all have. All, it's so diverse, but at the same in time... In the grand scheme of things, this changes the way our entertainment will look people like. People who don't feel seen with shows like Fresh Off the Boat, obviously, because we can't represent everyone. And same with Crazy Rich Asians, we can't represent everyone. But um, what it taught me is that if you do one and you do it really well, mm -hmm. um, they will make more. Yeah. I mean, it sucks that you you know we don't have the luxury of like being able to fail, um, and so it's a real privilege to be able to do this. But like my show, the traditional road to fame and success is becoming harder and harder for Asian actors, and the sad truth is that these opportunities are just not given to Asian actors. As one of the first Indian American actresses, Priyanka Chopra shares her obstacles to get on the Hollywood screen. For her role as Alex Paresh in Quantico, the words were that she was the wrong physicality. Her role as Victoria Leeds in Baywatch was not written for her, but through her immense talent, she showed that she is the only one who can play it. Originally written as a male character named Victor, Chopra takes leads and completely flips on what a villain should look like. You have to create your opportunity, you have to fight for it, you have to demand it. And history, and, and why I shouldn't eat everything that smells good? Because sometimes it's candles. There are many ways to bring diversity to the big screen. Whether it's taking matters into your own hands or putting your foot down to take what you deserve, there is no easy answer. The industry is far from being truly diverse, but we all can see what's happening here. The new era has begun.